So we're in the Tantra Center. And um, it's an old water mill. And it took us a couple of years to reconstruct it. And we opened three and a half years ago. And the center is in, it's in South Bohemia. It's 80 kilometers south of Prague. And it's a very beautiful, quiet area full of woods and lakes. And it's kind of the heart of the Czech Republic. And the Czech Republic is great because it's right in the middle of Europe. People can come from Austria, from Germany, from France, from England, lots and lots of cheap flights to Prague. So it's, it's really in the heart of Europe, very accessible. We tried to keep, to keep the original atmosphere, but make it very kind of clean and to create a Buddha field, to create a, a really strong energy here. And um, the main thing I teach here is Tantra. But we also have trainings in shamanism, in bioenergetics, in dark eros, tantric massage. And uh, it's all about actually discovering our connection to our energy. It's a residential center. We have at the moment 34 beds. Um, and with our present group room, 40 is about the maximum. People can sleep in the group room, especially if they don't have much money. In the summer, they can camp. So this is our group room or meditation hall, as the Czechs call it. And it used to be stables. And it has a wonderful acoustic hope you can hear it and it's space for about 36 people and I absolutely love the roof which is original we just cleaned it well you can see the big barn here this is the next part of our project it's already got a new roof you can see and uh, it will be a big group room, 160 square meters. So that's enough to do energy body work with 80 people. So this will be the group room. It will go here to those pillars there. Behind them will be showers. And um, it'll be very light, lots and lots of space. And we're gonna set it up with a fort elements to hold the energy, so fire in the east and a nice big stone in the west and a dream catcher for air in the north and a water feature in the south and um, yeah at the moment we're struggling with the budget because we don't have very much money left but I'm still hopeful it will be a very beautiful new space. I wanted to create a a meditation place outside and the stone circle holds the energy very strongly it's a very powerful place to be people come here in between sessions just to relax and to feel the energy we do our Beltane ceremony here we build a fire in the middle and we do Tislogi, which is a Comanche sacred dance and all kinds of different meditations in the stone circle. And um, one of the favorite meditations is to spin in the circle. You stand in the middle and you start turning and you look at the stones and you see the stones starting to dance around you. And then either you have the feeling you're standing in the center of the circle and you are making the stones dance and you feel centered and the world is turning around you or you lose your sense of the center and you feel like the stones are dancing you and you start literally losing the place in the center and tottering around um, until you end up like a giggling uh, heap uh, on your back or on your nose in the grass and it's it's a meditation about control and abandon and of course the whole point is it's not that control is good 
and it's not that abandon is good, but life is a dance between control and abandon. So this is our lake. Uh, the lake belongs to the center and the banks of the lake. And it's great for swimming in the summer. And in the winter, when it's frozen, you can skate on it. And it's a beautiful place, peaceful place, just to sit and relax any time of the year. And we have uh, ducks, we have harmless water snakes, lots of dragonflies, and I have even seen a pair of otters. We have trainings basically all, all year round. I tend to take January off, first half of February often, because I promised myself that uh, I'd go and relax in a hot place and have my main holidays in the winter. So now we're inside the old mill itself. And uh, we still have the old mill wheel or the inside part and um, it has six spokes and so on the website it has become our symbol of the six paths of transformation and it's a great place for hanging out so people eat here they sit around the fire in the evenings it's a place for chatting hanging out relaxing speak English to me today. This is Goldie and Beauty and they were a gift to me. Uh, it's probably a joke about my Cornish background because Cornwall is a place of pirates and pirates have parrots on their shoulder. <laughs> mm. So this is the Sun Terrace. And uh, it should have a view of the lake, except we have all the trees in the way. And I can't bring myself to chop any down. And the idea of this place is it's a place you can come on retreat to take time out from your everyday life and really begin to look what's important. If people fly into Prague Airport or come in to the main station, we organize transport for them so there's no problem to get here if you can get yourself to Prague. All the details are on the website, the pathsoftransformation.com.